Hello, my name is Kieran Marley, and today I'm going to be present presenting my final major project uh, for Creative Media. Uh, okay, so first slide. My genre is going to be a short horror film. It's going to be a point of view type experience uh, created similarly to a horror game, first person documentation, as like as you're viewing the things, you're telling them to the audience as well. It's kind of like how people use GoPros and, um, yeah, how people use GoPros and uh, the audience will see the exact same thing in the exact same time as the uh, protagonist is doing it. Uh, okay, next slide. Description of project. I've decided on creating a short horror film using the research I've done on my WordPress posts about camera shots, sound, lighting and horror factors. It's going to be point of view main documented as I'm seeing things, like I just said. Um, camera shots are going to be, you know, similar to normal horror films, you know, uh, focusing on the character up close normally. Uh, it will, like, zoom out a bit when there's, like, interesting things going on in the background that you might be able to, you know, see, like, kind of like a quick second thing, you know, in the, in the, in the other room or something like that. Uh, sound is going to be, like, kind of eerie. It's going to be, like, uh, when there's like disturbing like horror scenes to do with like the monster or something, I will make it like really loud, and it will be like fast, so it's like pulling you in for the thriller. And then when it's when it's a uh, when it's a jump scare moment, it will go like dead silent, and it will just be like you know you'll be on the edge of your seat just waiting for the jump scare or for something to happen. Uh, lighting, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a big torch. Um, with me when I go to the place I'm filming at and it's going to be because I don't want to show the actual monster because um you'll, uh, I heard this I heard this quote from somewhere before but your mind can make up a much scarier image of what that monster will look like than whatever um, the director can make on the set so that's why it's better to just keep the monster hidden uh, and make it more paranormal and uh, you know devilish really and uh, horror factors kind of like jump scares scareness um you know the uh type of monster and like the well the plot well the plot in the plot specifically like uh you know like demonic possession and stuff like that uh but yeah no next slide lighting camera sound and style of this genre I think horror movies are much scarier when you can't see the antagonist, like I've said. Movies I've researched like The Conjuring do really, do really well in the horror genre because they create possessions and images in your mind that you can't actually see. They do this because your mind can make up a much scarier image of what you imagine the demon could, uh, to look like when the do uh, than what the director can create on scene, as I just said. I could use bright torches to cast a shadow over my face on a wall and use the lighting to surround the shadow and show it as the character itself, e.g. a hand crawling across the door. Style of my project equals to the horror for first person perspectives on the on screen action. You know, like you're experiencing, experiencing things as you're there in real time. Main, main sounds I will be replaced, we replicate from horror movies will be eerie, changing the fast pace when the protagonist is being chased or attacked, and completely silent when there's a jump scare coming, as I've said before. Basic outline of narrative. narrative. Documentary type. First person view on things. I'll be, t I'll be talking about what I saw as I'm seeing it, sort of similar to a YouTube video, or like a horror game, e.g. Blair Witch Project, Resident Evil, stuff like that. Uh, Location. I'm going to create the scenes in abandoned, pitch black area, almost unseeable. Mostly somewhere that's quiet, has creatures and cobwebs. Creatures like, uh, you know, like little ants, rats, stuff like that. Cobwebs, and hasn't been seen used in a long time. So, you know, kind of like a rural area kind of thing, you know. Uh, filming. I'm going to film in the next week of the 28th, which is this week as I'm recording this. I'm going to uh, I'm going to do the camera work by myself, which is why I choose point of view horror films, and it is focused on one person alone. Uh, you know, it's got like yeah, yeah, like I said, similar to a horror game, it's only got one main character really, and then it's got more antagonists, but like you know, they're only talking to one person anyway. 
uh, cast crew list, who is doing what. I'm filming by myself, no crew included, slash needed. I have more than enough experience to create that type of short film on my own, like I just said. Uh, with the way I'm doing it, I don't need more than one person. Equipment list, slash props. Camera, phone, torch, flashlight. Murder weapons, e.g. hands and knives. Uh, for example, Freddy Krueger uses these uh, knives as like his hands and you know they scrape against the walls and it just creates like an eerie, eerie atmosphere. Camera and phone, uh, I don't know if I'm doing my camera or my phone yet because I haven't uh, seen, you know, I haven't started filming yet as of now. Torch, flashlight, um, yeah, yeah, no. I'm thinking of going with a flashlight. I don't think I'll be able to find any fire near it. And uh, masks black. Obviously, it comes as an advantage to me because we have to wear masks anyway. So it's just, you know, it's just a little add on. Anyway, editing style quick cuts, sound cuts, uh, and quiet scenes. No special effects. Clean and produced by what I made myself. I feel like with it lower, my. S yeah, no, I feel like with it lower, my score. I feel like it will lower my score and make it seem more unrealistic if I have special effects in my film. Because, you know, normally with horror films, you have, you know, all these little, um, you know, like animated effects, stuff like that. And to me, it just doesn't make it seem real, you know. Because uh, in real life, if you, uh, you won't actually see any special effects, so, you know, it just makes it look more realistic, in my opinion. Uh, sound effects, when I enter the edit editing stage of my film, I'm going to add loud bangs and quiet cuts. Thrilling screams and physical sound clips from objects that will replicate what is happening in the movie or short film. Uh, loud bangs for jump scares and unexpected scenes and I will be and I will completely cut the sound when it's tense and the protagonist is looking for the monster and the monster is watching jump scare preparation. Potential problems. Some of the pro uh, potential problems I could see myself encountering are to do with the lack of environment scene, environmental scenes, props, and scenes where they'll see the monster throwing, doing something across the other room, or in the same scene, but I could probably fix that with some editing. And final thing, the timetable for production. I'm going to, with the chosen project, uh, resolution, uh, first week, planning, pr proposal, pitch, and research. Second week, start filming. Um, maybe lean into, lean into editing a bit if I can finish it early. Third week, uh, f finish filming, go into editing as a whole. End of third week, hopefully finish editing and hand into, hand into remarks so it can be uh, taken back and improved on. Fourth week, if I can get a better grade for my return project, week one, work on fixing that to my highest possible standard. My final week, Finish everything, write up an evaluation about the filming, editing, and final processing. Hand it in on time, double check that I can't finalise my project to a higher standard, or I'm happy with the grade projected by my early hand in. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, well, yeah, uh, um, you know, that's me, Kieran Miley, and uh, I hope you enjoyed my presentation.